What is going on guys? I'm Paige and today we, I'm gonna bring you game 12 from the Pando against Jose FT10 for the best Argentina player. As far as I know is one of the most prestigious titles that has ever been present in the Tenkaichi community, uh, Tenkaichi worldwide community, sorry. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be a very epic match. If you didn't watch all the episodes, I strongly suggest you to start from episode one until this point. And we are gonna cover all the 15 fights that so, yes, this is the first time I'm gonna say this, that we'll see Jose winning 10 to five against Pandu and being the new best Argentinian player. Uh, we're gonna again repeat a bit of a background story Pandu is the current Argentina world champion and is kind of undefeated since 2019 a whole year playing and be undefeated basically so this is a very important set because uh, not only Jose is the first one to defeat him in an official match uh, is this is also a very good opportunity to study how the Tenkaichi gameplay evolved uh, throughout the time so we are gonna start talking about the match but as always let me th say thanks to Vinilos Games for providing us some good quality content for Tenkaichi you know from South American players it's very difficult to get uh, high quality footage so uh, let's thank our uh, all together Vinilos Games by bringing your subscribe to his channel link in the description and maybe get some likes to his videos this guy is a very cool guy so be sure to support him all right, without further ado, let's start with the 12th game of the of the set where Jose is immediately pressuring and chasing Pando. Ooh, very, very huge mistake. Uh, just a ground throw out of the melee zone and the first double L1 already exploded. Ooh, double L1 blast to These guys is one of the beginners most common mistakes. It's uh, very peculiar to see this in a high level. So we are gonna explain what happens and why you, a, new a newcomer player, you should never do this. So let's watch this. You see, double L1 into blast two. Seems a very powerful uh, sequence because you force your opponent to, to get a very fast decision, but actually this is not as uh, powerful as it seems because you, Let's analyze this quickly. You do double L1 into blast two, right? So you're imagining, oh, he has to block, otherwise he's gonna get hit. If we consider that uh, uh, cells death beams are a minus one blast two, for those who doesn't know, uh, minus one just means they are faster blast two. I'm gonna resume this very quickly like this. And uh, you're gonna think, oh, it's such a fast, uh, uh, it's such a fast blast too that my opponent is not gonna be able to block. Well, that's not true because the opponent has a third option, uh, which covers every possibility, which is the movement. After a double L1, just move to the side, left or right, or maybe on to, uh, on a diagonal trajectory, which is left and backwards or right and backwards, as your preference, or maybe the map will dictate something about the direction you have to get and as you can see just a straight movement to the right allows Pandu to go for a punish and here Jose 100% lost his life bar it's a very risky tactic you lose the initiative and uh, um, how can I say that you you just lost a resource because having a blast ready to use is always a good resource to have you have to play it strategically and this is such a basic and uh, I would say an effective strategy at all okay that being said let's uh, let's analyze what we have to do what what are the best options after a landed double L1 of course not a blast two as I mentioned right now and uh, just reposition yourself right now Jose is in a very bad position since he's gonna get punished he's gonna lose his first life bar and Pandu has more key than him uh, you know I wouldn't be playing in this position being Jose so let's watch how the fight is gonna go on he of course lost his first life bar and Jose again fails to dash key blast another ground throw in the melee zone and Pandu didn't punish in none of that 
That's very weird, a very rare miss from the current Argentina champion, one, uh, known as one of the best players in the world, and a nice deflect, even if an, even a weird angle. Some key blast pressure, change into Madden, oh, and it, was, it wasn't just in the right range. Oh, a nice punish, but he failed. A very nice step from Pandu. So... Another life bar is gone, Pandu is gonna save his life bar and maybe right now the thing is you're gonna probably lose your life bar even if you escape all the time during the match. Just try to keep the initiative going on and don't waste the opportunity because right now Pandu lost two life bars and Jose has been able to completely equalize the situation. This is a very peculiar moment of the fight where you you're gonna ask yourself why top players are playing like they are and you uh, always question yourself and question uh, what you're what you're watching so why was Pandu escaping if even by escaping uh, has been able to lose two life bars this point in this point we can see that Pandu made a little strategical error and uh, he had to keep the initiative going on and he had to keep the pressure because if you're gonna lose two life bars by doing nothing well it's better to at least try something in order to get more and more advantage right now he just wasted the advantage and jose is in a better position because uh, he's gonna bring the kid bow into the into the fight to completely deny any of broly broly plans and we're gonna probably see how this is exactly what Jose wants to do. He's gonna keep flying around and maybe save another after mage. You know, after mage is definitely the best and the easier and the best way to defend in the game. You basically can vanish anything. Oh, he gets the initiative against Kid Buu. Let's see how it keeps going on. Another incredible vanish from Pandu. <clears throat> this is very nice from him. You know, Broly against Kid Buu, I always consider this matchup as a kind of a fair matchup, but actually at this level, uh, Kid Buu is very, very strong. I would say uh, that's not very comfortable to play as Broly in that particular matchup. So Pandu uh, did immediately change, keeps the life bars of Broly and uh, tries to escape. But right now, Kid Buu, still keeps the pressure even against Pandu's cell who got in this kind of infinite dragon dash loop very nice vanish Pandu is not committing to the intrusive attack another beginner mistake we are gonna watching in this set and this is maybe because of the pressure you always have to account for the pressure in uh, high level matches because you're not playing your friend you're playing one of uh, the best players in the world and the opponent also is, uh, has to be considered one of the best if he's able to is able to catch your rhythms and even being an advantage in this set here we had a nice double vanish from from pandu that he's able to steal a life bar and here again the the greediness allowed the Jose to to have a safe chain character switch and he's gonna probably be able to steal another life bar from Pandus Broly. Pandus in, is not committing to any Sonic's weight, which is also peculiar in this match. Oh a nice wake up trap by Madas Gohan which is able to steal a life bar. So Pandus is basically keeping Broly's life bars is sacrificing everything in order to keep Broly alive but Jose is just playing so good that he's able to he's able to counter everything from Broly and Broly seems like uh, is not even a problem another character switch Jose lost another life bar in the meantime oh and here we have a nice tactic this is a tactic I would like to see to I, I like to suggest to every beginner player which which is called then stop and blast or maybe just blast one block you basically are doing uh, any kind of combo and you just stop and throw your blast tool your opponent is gonna likely stop and try to block 
and you get a free initiative, a free granted flanking because you are you're just zero distance. You're gonna be able to flank your opponent position. You're gonna reach his rear and deal an, enorm an enormous amount of damage. That's that's also a good way to optimize your blast two usage, considering that. A uh, good blast two is not always meant to be landed. Uh, sometimes uh, some blast two are just good because they give a lot of op uh, opportunities even if they are blocked. Uh, isn't that true, C17 power balls? Anyways, uh, all I meant to say is that Pandu knows that Jose is not gonna fall into this. As we can see here, in this very weird frame actually, uh, Cells uh, backstabbed into Blasto, but uh, Jose was ready to out of any shiny of the incoming Blasto. So, how Pandu does counter this with a minus one Blasto and he's able to get a life bar out of Jose's Kidbo? So, we are gonna see a lot of beginner material in this match, and we're just gonna go forward. You're gonna learn a lot uh, from this. Here he's playing with some ground throws, but nope, the rule of the 10 hits doesn't allow this and Jose immediately wakes up. Oh, he falls into the Jose's trick. Ah, very sad double L1. He punishes the intrusive attack with the death beams. Yes, you can do that, but this has to be a very hard read. A very clutch after image allows Pandu to save his, uh, his character. Oh, immediate... Uh, barrier and finally Pandu is perfectly punishing the barriers he doesn't want to allow C17 to escape but actually Jose just character switches he doesn't want to apply any pressure with C17 power balls this is another beginner tactic that I suggest you not always you uh, have to throw your blast if you have it you can just keep that for a second moment and that's what Jose is gonna do Okay, let's go back and uh, let's go back into the match. We're we're gonna see some spacing from Jose. I consider Cell against Cell a very good matchup for Cell, not because Cell is particularly good against Broly, but because you're gonna be playing a lot of waiting, and uh, Cell is very good at waiting since he's gonna stack some after images by just waiting. Here we have another beginner tip, which is the Blast 2 on the ground. Guys, Blast 2 on the grounds are so powerful, especially if, you, if those are minus ones, as in this case for the Super Explosive Madden. You just consider that you get half damage and you would say, Oh, it's really bad, I prefer to land my Blast 2 on my opponent being uh, just on, on his feet. But... Uh, your blast is gonna be actually very safe because it's gonna smash into the ground if you if your opponent is, is gonna ever be able to vanish and you can immediately reposition yourself or get out uh, get out of any blast to range so guys blast two on the ground just use them they are just so powerful and remember if you fail to land those uh, you just still have the possibility to reposition yourself don't stay there and wait for a punish because there is not any punish for that. So let's go forward. Pandu got a nice advantage here and uh, we're gonna see if he's gonna be able to convert this in a win after a very sad beginning. Oh, very nice sequence from Jose Skidbo. Pandu's committing to explosive waves still and he commits to a double L1 finally. As you can see, another explosive wave would have cost uh, him to lose against Jose perfectly recovered explosive waves and uh, as you can see at the end he committed to that and Jose is just is just playing very good and very sharp to those explosive wave recoveries and explosive waves are not a defense this is another beginner tip I can give you uh, don't just rely on explosive wave work on your vanishes on your Z counters and your positioning don't get caught is the best tip I can give you to improve your defense and just if you get caught uh, just uh, work on some defensive aspects here Pan, uh, Jose gets a life bar out of Broly this is gonna be very hard for Jose to convert in a win yeah doesn't have the best character to fight Broly 
and his kid bow is just in a red bar and Broly is almost full life so this is gonna be very hard for him Pandu's gonna save more and more life bars from uh, from Cell and Jose fails to reposition a rare mess from him another block, perfect deflect oh, very nice preparation Pandu is playing very very safe and his defense is working, perfectly working on here Pandu played a huge risk having after image and still trying to go for the explosive wave commits for a barrier punish and yes, he almost has been able to kill uh, Jose C17 let's see how the match is gonna go on Pandu is waiting for the target dash and weirdly he gets caught by that a weird mistake okay nothing new here don't wake up perfectly sometimes waiting is the just the best option and uh, here they are explaining to us perfect basics and how they are meant to be played explosive waves is gonna challenge Jose to recover them all and he does that so yellow bar Broly things are getting interesting Jose is slowly and slowly getting them into the match maybe the momentum shifted there Jose has uh, got his confidence back after mage Pandu doesn't trust himself goes for some key blast and as far as I know key blast doesn't always grant you some solid punish a nice Z counter but I think oh a rare explosive wave recovery miss from Jose allows Pandu to still going on into this match this is gonna be a very waiting match to final stages Jose wasted his chance, he's gonna wait, he's gonna run to charge other power balls and Pandu's gonna chase him to the death and right now Jose wastes another time his winning chance against Pandu and I guess C17 just died brutally the advantage is too big, I don't think Jose will be able to win this so let's watch how the match is going some pressure from Jose Skidbo, which has to try everything in order to win this. This is not very easy for him, actually. So let's see how he's gonna convert this. Double at one. Cell is almost dead. Come on, Jose, trust yourself. But nope. He played something very wrong. This is the last beginner tip I want to give to you. These last frames, we're gonna use this in order to give you one last tip. Watch this. Jose just committed to to something called instant dragon dash attack you basically buffer your dragon dash via a particular technique uh, be sure to watch my tutorial on dragon dash techniques and it goes for the attack the attack has been blocked that means Pandu can punish this but it does, doesn't commit to the punish because uh, he's scared of the sonic sway probably is not very confident on his punishment so he goes for a safe option which is the minus one plus two in, in this moment and you're not gonna be able to interrupt him by doing your blast two because you see he created enough range by the blast two backstab and jose is punching after a punishable move that means you have very bad frames your attack is gonna come out very slowly and you're gonna get killed as it happens in the actual match so yeah this was everything for this match we have right now pandu getting another match we are uh, seven to five in Jose's favor and yeah the match still needs to go on so yeah nothing more to say about this be sure to leave a like subscribe to my channel and guys if you didn't watch the first episode of this series be sure to do that because this is a uh, this is a gold set from the modern Takeshi 3 era so Thank you for watching and see you soon.